Hello, I'm Antris, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. Today we're doing a new island. This is the third one. We're going to start off in, I think, debt, and we have to try and make our way out of it. Let's find out. There was another island near here where an amusement park was built over the bones of an abandoned one. Spared no expense, as Hammond would say, a biological preserve. Yeah, you may have heard about it. At least the stuff that wasn't classified. One of your predecessors was in charge of this island. It didn't go very well for them. But here's your opportunity to succeed where they failed. You'll need to carefully consider how to make money if you want to turn this into a profitable endeavor. And you do. Trust me. When your park is bankrupt, you need to sell... Uh, you need to raise cash for what you have. Sell unless you're building the fossils. And okay. Uh, complete contracts, ranger team. Okay, that sounds like this is going to be interesting. Well, first off, we're going to sell the innovation center because that is, you know, a lot of money right there. Uh, what else? I mean, mostly everything else. Nearly everything. What's you? Fossil zone. Do you get the past interactive museum that provides guest satisfaction? Okay, uh, that's got to go. Toy shop, that's got to go. Clothes shop, gift shop, arcade, restaurant, fast food. But yeah, they, those are all going. Bye. 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 Okay, let's actually hit okay rather than cancel this time. Right, that's a good start. It's a, it's a start. Incomplete track on the monorail? Oh. Okay. That's a small power plant over there. <laughs> That's our Hammond Creation Lab. Which has no power. Alright, well first things first, we know we need power. So, we're going to connect our power and then we'll want to put in some enclosure walls, maybe like just a light fence for now, nothing fancy. What's, what's your view like here? Um, yeah, I know you've got no power. Ugh. Right, let's give you a substation. I want to just see your, your viewing angle. Yeah. So, you can't actually see the far end. We'll bend that. Thank you for whoever taught me that. It was, uh, some of the comments said, by the way, with space you can bend your wall a little bit. Yep, we're losing money. Only a tiny bit, though. And by a bit, I mean like 15,000. That's, that's quite a lot for most people. Okay, are we doing this the other side? Yeah, we do. Oh, it's a toggle, not a hold. Okay. Wish I could see the damn fence at the moment.
Okay. Uh, hi, fence. Come with me. Why can't I build the fence here? Right, that'll do. It's a bit weird, but whatever. It's in the tree line. And then we need to incubate some dinosaurs. Uh, it's a pretty small pen. So I've got to go with things that work well together and have a decent rating. So not the Struthiomimuses. Mm, I can't afford anything with a low, like, percentage viability. I need something that's like, you know, it's got pizzazz. A Ceratosaurus is tempting. We can only get one of those, though. Could get a couple of Ankylosauruses. Uh, no, we need rating. I need... I need shine. I need something with a good shine to it. People love the Triceratops. People do love the Triceratops. It is true. And it is a 97% now. Yeah, at the end of uh, the last episode, I did go off and I managed to complete all of the side objectives on the first two islands. So we have a few things now. Let me see if we can modify any of your genomes. We've unlocked quite a lot. We haven't looked that. That's 100%. Go for a step pattern. We haven't tried the step. Tooth hardness. Rating goes down. Lifespan goes up. No. Mm, defense goes up. Attack goes down. Viability goes down. I'm quite happy with Tooth Hardness. Defense. Intensive repair. Again, rating goes down. Okay, skin toughness. Resilience goes down. Defense goes up. Attack. No, I don't care about that. Lifespan goes up by a good chunk, actually. But resilience does go down quite a bit. You know what? That lifespan is worth it. We're going to go brain aging. Oh, yeah. And then we will... Just incubate. Do we want to add anything to the facility? Do we want to add, like, a, an extra incubation chamber or a percentage um, viability? Probably a percentage of viability, because it is only 83%. So we we'll get success rate. Then we'll incubate a Triceratops. Probably two. Actually, no. If I do two, I won't be able to afford to feed it. Ah, it's too late! Okay, right. We're going to need to make more money. I don't know how we make more money now. They're going to need to just live... Some reason, Just be fine. Okay. Come and enjoy the dinosaurs, people. I don't even have a fossil thing to get people. This is going to be great. Oh, I can sell you. How much do you sell for? That's good money. Done. Oh, this sells for good money as well. That was worth it. Right. Enclosure. Ground herbivore feeder. And we will most definitely put this over this side. What are you complaining about? Is your literal problem that you've got a pylon over here that goes nowhere? There we go. Complaining done. That's not your problem. What is your problem? Dinosaur ready to release. That's great. But what is it? Literally, like... What is your... I, I, I really dislike this of the game. That it's like... Ah, oh, there's a thing! Like, okay, wait. What's the thing? It's a thing! <laughs> Yeah. 
No, I should shoot from the other side. You... Oh, hello. Hi. Right, and we'll release the next one, then I'll name them in a second. Hi. Hey there, Triceratops. How are you doing? Ooh, the step pattern is very dark. How are you doing? Now, because I'm super clever, I totally did not get the Excel spreadsheet ready. However... The names for these dinosaurs are going to be Major Pain. Major Pain and Father Prex. Hey, there we go. So the second one is Father Prex. Hello there, Father Prex. And then Major Pain. And we have people in. Hello, people. Right. Probably shouldn't think of the contract to begin with. Whatever. Uh, science. You can help with this, and you should. I really should have taken that to begin with. Incubator dinosaur, hundred thousand. Yes. Well, we've already broken the primordial and prehistoric egg, as it were. So, uh, you know, why not hatch a few more? All right. We are making a profit per minute. What do you want to incubate next? Hmm. Drake Rex is pretty expensive. Like, if we were going to go for pure money, it'd be easiest to get a Struthia Mimus. Because we could just put, like, three of them in and be like, bam, done. That's going to make us the money that we're going to get. But I'm not sure if that's worthwhile. I hope the storm doesn't get worse. What are you? Emergency shelter? Maybe the emergency shelter. Your coverage is somewhat important. You cover this area. I do need one over here eventually. We'll incubate a few Struthia Minuses. We'll start with one, and then we'll probably do the rest. Modify genome. Uh, we'll go for some Savannah. We haven't had Savannah before on you. Lifespan. Cardiac strength. Resilience goes way up with this. Everything goes up, apart from your viability. I think that's something we can deal with. Let's get your immune response gene. And then resilience. Uh, you've kind of got robust digestion. Again, immune response. Your viability is a bit trash, but... Mostly shark. You are mostly now shark DNA. That's fine. Your resilience and your lifespan are great. Like, you'll be a pretty good addition to the park. However, if our viability is going to be that low, I'm going to increase the success rate again. Just hope that doesn't cause a parachute. Again, I'd like to be able to see my power on the screen somewhere. Be like, oh, you've used this much of this much power. Great. Cool. Thank you for the information. Uh, no, only do one for now. There might be a mission to do more. Remember, the show must go on. This contract makes that possible. T-Rex genome. That's great. I just need, you know, Every a genetic and a fossil center. That's fine. That's my motto. So I'm looking forward to lots of new energy around here once you acquire that genome. <laughs> Even if I don't know what that is. It's a T-Rex. You probably should know that. Part of your job to really know what's going on in this park, but sure. Taking that contract was the smart choice. You've proved that. Thanks. Ooh, hello. This is the outrageous cheese. <laughs> 
You are out. Rageous cheese. There we go. You're actually okay by yourself. I, I worried that you'd be like, oh no, I need friends, but actually we just need one of you. We wanted to get ourselves a ranger station to be able to restock the herbivore feeder. That's one of the issues we currently face. There is a new job available, and I know just the person to do it. Um, yeah, build an expedition center. We need to at some stage. More buildings can only mean more opportunities. Go for it. The thing is, though, that will only cost us money. You need a fossil center to be able to then um, sell stuff. So to actually make money from the expedition center, you would need a fossil center. It's only a way of costing you money, and I right now can't deal with that. What I need is a ranger station, because it will make me some money as well. How much space have we got? That's plenty of space. We can put another exhibit in here. Not to waste good space. Could put some of our more important buildings in there. Or we could shift them over to this side. There's a lot of space here. We can get quite a few buildings in. Okay, let's look. Can I actually get this in with enough space to then build a road leading to it? Come on. Come on, you got this. Oh. There we go, that looks good enough. It's expensive, but it will allow us to refill the feeder so that the dinosaurs don't all die, and we can take pictures with it. Do we have a gate in this? We don't have a gate in this wall. Also, this used to be a pretty thick fence. We've put a light fence around it. Hmm. Let's get ourselves a gate. I'll put the gate... Hmm. Oops. A little bit close to that. There. Why not? Okay. Drive vehicle! Out of my way! I need to take pictures. Hi! Glad we don't sink. Some money. Where's everyone else? It's quiet. Too quiet. Ah! I see a Struthio Mimus. Gently does it. Oh. I've taken the picture on another island, so it counts. That's annoying, because I've taken pictures on another island, so I can't really make use of that money now. Do you want to eat? Do you want to eat, please? Shh. Shh. No one's here. Want to try it again? 
Fine. I want to take a picture of you. Well, I'm making a little bit of money at least. How are we doing? Almost up 200,000. How else do we make money? Probably need another exhibit. That's probably going to be our next step. Or we could go for like a fossil center or something. Oh, well, we need the expedition center to do that. The expedition center, sure, is going to be slightly cheaper because we've got a discount effectively. I want to take this contract, which means you want to take it too, correct? Uh, sure. Either way, when we get to one star, we get 150,000, which is good money. So we're going to incubate a uh, Struthium Minus. Oh, we could... No, it's going to be cheap. By the way, I wish you could see a lot more data on the dinosaur. Like, you see this fluff data, right? We don't need this fluff data. What I need to know is... How many people does a dinosaur like to live with? Uh, what size of paddock does it need? All this data that you don't get from there. You actually get it from doing this. Um. Oh, you get, yeah, no, you get it from your profile here. So you see social group, ideal population. Grassland, forest, whatever. You know, things it's susceptible to. Appetite, metabolism. It doesn't say that on the incubate thing. Like, it gives me crap data that I don't need. I really wish it said that there instead of the crap data. I don't want fluff data. I want data on, like, is it going to be actually any use to me? Hi there. This is Future Planet. Hi there. And you as a Pajo. Schnick. Uh, right. The Pajro Shinagami. Oh, we've got a massive variety penalty. That sucks. Poor satisfaction. Wait, what? Great safety. Okay, capacity. Poor satisfaction. Okay, so you don't have, like... Oh, that's not a bad facility rating. You don't have, like, uh, food or whatever. That's what you want. But I need my dinosaur rating up to one star. I don't need my facility rating up. So, I don't really care about that. Now... I can't do what I want to do, which is normally to build another Hammond Creation Lab and then build a fence around it. And I can't do the other thing I like to do, which is to just get the dinosaurs out of here and then immediately tranquilize them and then dump them in another paddock because I don't have an ACU. So we have to make a decision here. I think the best way is just to incubate a new dinosaur and introduce it into this paddock. Unfortunately, that's going to be expensive. So I would be tempted to an Ankylosaurus, but they need space. They need not many people, and they like their own thing, which is annoying. I don't know about the Chunkingosaurus, but we have got a decent genome for this. Let's do it. Modify your genome. This should get us the uh, variety. We'll go arid for you. Actually, no, we've got a theme going on. We'll keep to the savannah. Defense. What we'll gives me the highest rating? All good. So, resilience and lifespan. That's what we're going to aim for. Intensive repair. Uh, lifespan is. Really up. Rating goes up a bit with reaction speed. Immune response. Viability goes down quite a lot. 
but rating goes up a lot as well. Yeah, let me do immune response. Apparently people love immune response. I'm 51. Lifespan goes up to... Oh, resilience goes up to 81. I don't need intuitive learning. Immune response. Lifespan goes up to 102. Resilience is up to 83. Viability drops again. Incubation cost suddenly gets much higher, though. Maybe that was a mistake. Probably shouldn't modify them that much. As an expensive dinosaur. Probably shouldn't have modified it that much. Three? Point three stars? It's because we're getting that variety penalty. And? Ugh. Either way, the dinosaurs that we're going to build next are going to be pretty good. We've modified this one, so it's going to be expensive, but the modifications should mean that it'll stay around for a while, won't die, it'll be pretty reliable, won't probably get ill, because if it gets ill, we're kind of screwed, because we don't have any way of dealing with that. I mean, we have, you know, the ranger station here, but we haven't researched any of the extra diseases that can happen. We'll start incubating you. Now, this is only going to be a 92% chance, so there's an 8% chance that this could go wrong. That's half a mil down the drain, if so. What's the next way of viewing? Viewing platform, 150k. Because we could put a viewing platform here. And then maybe angle it slightly so it sees this. Hmm. I'm thinking also we put a dinosaur paddock here so that we can have them pretty close together. Because you want people, you know, be able to go from one exhibit to the next and just to quickly bounce between exhibits and spend money. I that's see, that's the old like idea. Like in the Roller Coaster Tycoon games, you want to be able to go bam, 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 bam. They get off a ride, oh, they want food, and then they want to get another ride or whatever. In this, I don't know if that's true because do they pay per gallery or do they just pay to enter the park? Or how how are they how do they charged? How do we make money? I don't know. People, we need people. Okay, how do we make money from the people? How do I best do this? No idea. It's a little bit frustrating. Um. When can I afford guest stuff? About 130k or above. Probably want fast food. Or maybe a restaurant. That's 4-3 food drink. Fast food is 3-3-1 three, three, for fun. Yeah, we'll probably get a restaurant. That way people can have food. Okay. The Chung Kingosaurus. It sounds like such a silly name. It sounds like something that you'd like hear from like a crappy 90s comic book. Being like, quick, uh, we need to make a dinosaur. Uh, Chung Kingosaurus. Rawr. Oh no, Chung Kingosaurus is here. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna kill everybody. No. Oh dear. But sure, we'll release it. Hi, Chung King. I'm chunking. Oh, you look so derpy. Adorable, but derpy. No. Oh. You too cute. I like the way it bounces as well, like it's running. No. Uh, okay, you are Ram Mutharu. A veteran name. Social, oh no. 
It needs another one of its kind. Well, that's a problem. I don't have money for that. This is going to go interesting. Um... Crap. Wish I would have known that. This is good information that I would love to have on the screen when I make this kind of dinosaur. God damn it. What if I take off, like, all of your modifications? That gene costs like 70k. Wow, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. That gene is only 25k, okay. Uh, done. We'll build you. Chunking Asaurus for 300,000. You're going to be crappy chunking Asaurus. Okay. Crisis may be averted. We will see. I might cancel the Tyrannosaurus Rex thing because that's a long way away. And... It isn't that big a reward, like, for something that's going to take so long to do. I've got something for you, if you're interested. Storm defense coverage. Yeah. I mean, storm defense stations aren't too expensive, Storms, are they? Storms, they're the first sign. An omen, if you believe in that sort of thing, which I don't. Except when I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's, uh, we need to get that up to 60%. Be too difficult. Yeah, here is probably a good location. I was going to put like the restaurant here, but if we're going to have a viewing platform behind, this makes more sense. I wish when you moused over it, when it said under construction, it had a percentage next to it. Little things. I mean, there's a major thing that's missing in the game. That's any sort of actual management game. Uh, oh, 45%. Okay. We need another one up here and then we'll be good. Yeah, I know. Shots fired. But then there's a lot of little things like, you know, I'd like to be able to have some decision-making abilities on, you know, actually noticing th things, stats, etc. That should get us coverage. And release! This is Liam Darley! Hello, Liam Darley. Oh, hello. That's the normal coloration. You're very green. To hand it to you, you delivered on that weather contract. Well, I won't forget course. how you helped the science division. Doesn't mean I'm promising anything either. Okay, Liam Darley, you're in. And with that, we have completed our contract. An offer just came our way. Don't let it sit too long. No guest facilities within? Yeah, sure. And the social I is now know. complete. First hand, what happens when we cannot provide safety for our guests? And I never want to experience that again. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. Uh, and our profit margin is getting good. We need to get our dinosaur rating up. 
Just provided no one dies, we'll get a bit more money. We can build ourselves an expedition center, build ourselves a fossil center, and we'll be good to go. So I think that's it for this episode. We are successfully out of debt, but we're starting up from the ground again. We've got a lovely air up here. I don't know what we'll do with that. Probably monorail up there and put something in. Interesting. Um, same thing down here. Maybe just like a really big enclosure. Maybe two big enclosures. Along the way down, probably just power plants. Don't know how many we'll need. Other than that, feeling pretty good. If you've liked, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Next episode, we'll start going for the uh, actual genome stuff. We'll get an expedition, we'll get a fossil center, and then we'll hunt a T-Rex, which will probably break out all the time and murder everyone. Oh, we also need another shelter down here at some point. Um, restaurant. Maybe a pen here. I don't know if we'll do the pen here first. And then the fossil center. Probably the pen here, just so we have money going. Yeah, we'll get a second pen going and then we'll do the fossil center and stuff. But for now, I've been at Elysium. Stay shiny.